So these are the things that I promised that I would do. And I fulfilled all the prior promises that I could. And from here on out, this is all about purpose in life, the new Tony show. And you're going to hear the truth. Oh, by the way, my plan was to come out here with a couple friends with some musical instruments and maybe eight people, maybe ten people tops, and a good bottle of wine and have a rock concert. Yeah, rock concert right here. That was the plan. That's the plan. I gotta pack this shit up today. This is not gonna happen today. This is a major fucking storm. Whoa, doggies! Ha <laughs> ha! Run! I think I feel like I wanna run. This is bad. Anyway, pack this shit up.
find shelter I wish I could be married to it. I've been fearing to it and I've been taught to fear it. Yeah, the dream was gone, yeah, sure. But should I have trusted it so? From the cradle to the casket, gasket, just to turn into a, another pile of, another chunk of, another piece of. cafe scene, it'll be the other thing. <laughs> so, hope you can make it. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for listening to me fucking around and fucking around and uh, work my way around these tunes. Thanks to all the, uh, the performers that came out and let me join them. I appreciate it, everybody. And thanks to Paulina. Thanks to Tim. Thanks to the barista. Thanks to you all. Who's left? Steve. Steve, the owner of the cafe. Yeah. Thanks to Steve, the owner of the cafe, for creating this, this place for us to be. What will we do without it, really? Yeah. Would suck here. <laughs> Proud. Most. Well, a round of applause for John. Thank you. Woo! Thank you for coming. Next Wednesday is Jonas Magram. He jumps out of his car and he walks up to my door and I get out of my car. Concrete and steel. Oh, yeah. Concrete and steel and garbage.
car and I looked him in the eye. I got it right up on him. I said, okay, okay, okay. I said, I said, you know, uh, you riding my ass is so discourteous. And he says, you, da, 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 down at me, using his weight, his body, his whole thing. He's done that his whole life because he was born with genetics and he's bigger. But see, now I do have the skills. I've wanted to take a person and put him down just like that. He's on his ass and pound his face in. And he doesn't understand. Now that I got, I'm pulling the chi out of my body right now, the biggest worry I've had my whole life is what well, I'd be able to do that and pull back and not kill the person. Elements of using a jackhammer, no matter what size, if it's a big one, a medium, or small jackhammer, when you're working with stone or anything. Number one, these are not safety glasses. And, uh, but the bones, how are my bones holding up? That's what matters. So here we go. I read something on Facebook the other day, and it turns out to be true. That's five eggshells ground up by John. When you powder eggshells, what they have is they have all the trace minerals, especially calcium, a lot of calcium content, which matches. I've already got the Himalayan salt in there. There's sediment on the bottom. Himalayan salt, trace minerals. If you listen to your body, your body's going to tell you what you need. And when you feel pain, muscle fatigue, you listen to your body. So. I haven't done this kind of work for a while. This is, uh, this is uh, probably about a year ago maybe I did work like this, but I haven't done work like this for a year. So my body, my, the fortress, the skeleton, is trying to hold up this hammer and take the, take the brunt of the shock waves that go in. So what that means is I'm going to protect my bones that our body can uh, integrate fast because it's very similar to the content of our bone. I just read that the other day. So the result of that is you put that in the water and uh, if you're like me and your body's starting to tell you that it needs reinforcement, it needs some substantial nutrition. While I'm working on this I start feeling pain. And so this is how I've responded to that. And I've, I've had uh, six days of this work, and each day my chi, my inner core, core energy has been, has been getting stronger and stronger and stronger. That means these formulas are working. <laughs> It'll be all right. You see, when you do this for a while, you start really caring about the rocks. You really, they touch your heart. At this point, you know, if an old girlfriend started throwing rocks at me today, I'd think that she was falling in love with me again. <laughs> My plan was to come out here with a couple friends with some musical instruments and maybe eight people, maybe ten people tops, and a good bottle of wine and have a rock concert. Yeah, rock concert right here. That was the plan. That's the plan.
Holy shit, are you kidding me? Pawpaws to the people. Whoa, do you have any? No, we just we just missed the season by about 40 days. Huh? I think I now, think a person could make a good living selling buying and selling pawpaws, it's, but it's, I don't know how how illegal are they in the Midwest is my question. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff is you know, when's the last time you, you somebody walked up to you and say, "I got some, I got some, I got some pawpaws. You want any?" <laughs> the the pawpaw is uh, is an interesting uh, conundrum relative to the Aussies because um, a, what we call pawpaws, um, excuse me, what they call pawpaws, we call papayas. So they have, they have pawpaws, but they're not uh, our pawpaws. I'm gonna, don't our, they, wouldn't they have these pawpaws too? Or not? I, I don't think so. I think they are um, I just. Wa I wonder why it's not paws. Look at this. Butter or something. <laughs> no, pawpaws. It's, it's, it's the, a, it's, it's the it's fruit a, so delicious, they named it twice. It, it, it is the North America's largest oldest indigenous fruit. Wow. And